Okay, today we're going to be looking at how we can copy and paste a web address, or really anything in general. But I'm going to focus specifically on web addresses because students not only are researching on the internet, but they're needing to be able to give credit to their resource. Just like we would write a bibliography using a book or a magazine or a newspaper. So what I've done is I've done a simple search for kangaroo. I've selected my source and what I'm going to do now is I want to copy and paste it. Now there's a couple ways you can do that. One way is to simply click on it and if you click click or double click um, it will highlight the entire thing. You can also click at the very end and hold down the button while you drag the mouse over to the end of the words. Okay. Once you've done that, you can go up to Edit and click on Copy. You'll notice there's also a keyboard command for Command-C. Uh, that button also used to be the Apple key on, on Mac keyboards as well. Some of the students might remember that. Um, if you click on it, it will go ahead and temporarily copy that to what they call the clipboard on the computer. And so it's just temporarily storing it there for you so that you can go over to, say, a Google document that you have or if you had Word open and you went into a document and you needed to copy and paste that, now I could go up and edit and go to paste. And I'll notice the keyboard command, if I wanted the shortcut, would be Command V. So that would be Command C and then Command V. Or through the edit screen, copy and then paste. Okay. There we go. All right, now, if I hit the Enter key, I'm going to notice that it makes it a hot link, meaning that this is now a clickable item when the line is underneath it. I wanted to show you one other way that you can actually uh, take links from one place to another without using the copy and paste feature. If you've already searched for something, and let me go back and choose a different link. Let's say this National Geographic one. The piece of paper that's actually at the beginning here is also the link. So rather than highlighting and doing copy and paste, you can click on the piece of paper and you're going to, so if you start to drag it, you're going to see on it. If you go over and go to that document that's also right there, if you're holding it down, I didn't click anything. I'm still holding the mouse down, clicking and dragging. It's going to recognize that you're on top of that tab and take you there so that you'll be able to go down and write where you want it as soon as you let go it's going to paste that same link. So you have two ways, actually three, keyboard commands, copy and paste if you're using click and drag, or excuse me, uh, copy and paste using the highlighting, or if you do the click and drag, you can grab the piece of paper and drag it to where you want in order to get the information that you need.